everybody. Welcome to MT Guitar. Thanks for joining us today and uh, thanks for all the support we've been getting lately. It's a lot of fun creating this channel and these videos so I'm hoping you're having a great time and uh, let me know if you are. Thanks to all those who have uh, supported us so far. Today we're doing Donovan Catch the Wind which is one of his um, sort of his songs that kind of broke him out of the scene and uh, Yesterday I did Bob Dylan song, and this is also in the folk kind of category, but like Bob Dylan, Donovan kind of crossed over into more of the rock and pop scene as well. Donovan was a great friend of the Beatles and actually went to India with the Beatles. And uh, great acoustic guitar player, great finger style player. And anyway, this song is a, is a nice song that is a little tricky to nail accurately. So um, I'm going to go over it step by step, note for note. and. Um, a lot of fun to sing as well. So check the description below for um, links to check out and other things to check out. And um, with that, let's get started on this lesson and zoom in on the hands. All right, so um, capo on the third fret. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to use a capo all the time, feel free to just play it in an open position after you learn it with me here. Okay, so this is a, I would almost say, borderline advanced, intermediate advanced, so um, try to go over it as clearly as possible here. You're going to want to C with the third fret first string. So that kind of C, and that pinky on the third fret is going to kind of stay there for most of the song. Okay, so we're going to do this um, pattern here, so I'm going to talk about the right hand to get us going on this pattern that will continue. So down, down, up, down, bass, down, up, down, okay? That continues with the other melodies here. And what's happening is a melody in the guitar while we're strumming. Okay, that's the melody. And that's actually the end of the chorus, but oftentimes in an intro you will start with the ending of a chorus or, or some section. So um, enough talking, let's let's get to work. Third fret is fifth string is gonna be your melody here. Down uh, bass, down up, down, and then third string open. And then we're gonna go to an F here. Uh, this type of F, third fret, fourth string, second fret, third string, and you're gonna hit the uh, fourth and third string. And the second fret, fourth string, and open third string, and then both strings open. And you lift your first finger because we're at the G chord. Alright, so. See that? It's. Okay, and then second fret, fifth string, and then third fret. Down, down, up after that. Then third fret and second fret, fourth and third string. So that's, and then second fret, and then third fret, fifth string. And then a hammer on fourth string to second fret. And then back to third fret. So that's a lot, so let's cover that. Third string, third fret, second fret, open, second, third. That's the intro. One more time slowly. And then we start the verse. In the chili. And then, so that was an anticipation there. In the chili. Alright, so I'm going to keep talking about the melody, but it's now going to be a lot simpler. So. In the chili. Third, uh, third, sorry, second fret, fourth string. It's going to be a bass pattern. That's the bass for a second. And then F chord, but this type of F, uh, where we hit the the fourth and third strings with always the pinky down here. Down, down, up, down, down. Okay, so that's. Chili. 
back to C. And then halfway through this, we release the pinky. Release the pinky there to the go to the F chord. See how I'm doing bass, down, up, down, bass, down, up, down, even on this full bar, F bar chord. So let's review that. In the chili. back to the C with the pinky on the third fret first string and this time we are going to go from fifth string to fourth string and then we do our uh, a little thing that we did in the intro so and then a third fret, fret again and then we go second fret second fret fifth string third fret sixth string and then we do a G7 first finger first fret first string and then walk up third fret sixth string open second fret and then repeat the whole thing all right let's do the whole thing now the whole verse and Second time, it's the same thing. Except we don't go to the G7 here with this part. So the second time we go, the, the same little little thing at the intro. See, so it's. covered that in the intro. Alright, so there's another verse after that. We've actually done all the hard hard work. The intro is the hardest part of the song to learn and to teach. And and the verse is a little bit easier and then the, the bridge is actually quite easy compared to that. So after the second verse when you go or the second verse in chorus I should say when you go the wind, da, da, right that part go to this walk up here third fret open fourth string second fret D, D. and we're gonna go bass down up down bass down up down for all these chords so we're gonna do a bar chord of F E minor you can also go down down up you don't have to go down up down it's kind of varied up a little bit so bass down up down Back to F. Now to D over F sharp. And then G. Here we have a tricky part here. So we're going to play a G here with the pinky on the third fret first string. And after down up down, we go to second fret, hammer on, fourth string. And then third fret, if you can squeeze it over there back to second fret and that takes us into the the verse not another another verse okay so let's do the whole a whole uh, verse I decided to make this a more intermediate advanced lesson because of the accuracy I wanted to portray. But let's say you're a beginner and you really like the song, you'd like to learn it. 
you don't have to do the bass line melody. Um, the song is beautiful enough just with the, the chords and sort of the, the melody of the, of the voice to where you can just play this C. You know, and just kind of ignore all the bass line stuff, that's fine. See, I'm just ignoring the bass line, all the movement of the guitar. Um, it's quite difficult, to be honest, to play this and sing it at the same time with all those moving bass parts. Um, I have the, I have the, you know, the desire to sort of learn all the accurate parts uh, of a song, of a guitar part. But like I said, if I were a beginner, probably would not be that picky, and I would just want to learn the chords. So you have that option. If there's anything that's unclear, uh, feel free to let me know. Other than that, uh, enjoy this beautiful classic from Donovan. Check him out, and um, his other stuff too is great. So, enjoy. All right, good job, everybody. So you've got this Donovan song to work on. Go ahead and subscribe to MT Guitar if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. And uh, other than that, have a wonderful day, and uh, keep practicing, and um, see you next lesson. Bye.